final piece of finishing this tessellation, or really the final half, is mixing the intermediate or tertiary colors. So those are the ones that go visually between a primary and a secondary. So we're gonna work with the greens first. This is yellow green and then blue green. Blue green is the darker one, so I'm gonna start with the lighter one because they're related. We can kind of work them all at the same time. So I'm gonna start with my pile of yellow because it's the lighter color to make green. Wash out my brush. Get the blue. And I'm ultimately gonna need to make blue green. So I have to make sure I have enough blue scooped out to, to mix that up. So I'm going to mix the blue into the yellow. I remember to mix in circles to keep it all in a pile. All right, that is a lovely green that is also yellow. You can check it, hold it in between here. Yep, it's green, but it's also yellow. So you can start by painting that yellow green on there. You'll be able to see how visually it connects the yellow and the blue together. The process will ultimately be the same where then I will mix the yellow green into some white to do the tints and make sure that there's enough paint on here to cover the paper completely or it'll be splotchy later. So make sure that the paper is completely covered. I'm gonna come back to my yellow green and I have half of it that I did not mix white into. So right over here, all right? You could scoop it into an extra pile if you'd like. Um, in this case, I don't actually think I have enough yellow left. So I may have to scoop some extra out, put it on here. All right, so when I mix the blue in, it's gonna start as a yellow green. I'm gonna add more blue, and it's gonna mix into a regular green. And add a little more blue and go right through to blue green. So you wanna make sure that it stays green. This is kind of like turquoise or teal. All right, so make sure that it stays green, but that it's more blue than what you have here and a lot bluer than what you have over there. I think I need a little bit more blue just to make sure there's enough contrast because it's a color that goes between these two. So it's definitely green, but it's not, or it's definitely greener than the blue. But it's definitely bluer than green. So that goes in between there to be blue green. And I will work the same process. Then when I come over to the oranges, I'm using red and yellow to do yellow, orange, and red, orange red, violet, and blue, violet. 